The Island Boys kissed each other. All that nonsense they were saying on the Impulsive podcast to George talking about how it means an hey, accident, hey, bro, hey, God hey, forbid, a situation would happen. You, you know me from Island Boys, but you know I'm thugging, bro, right? You know that, right? It seems to me like they might be going broke, as George predicted. If you're making that much cash off of your music and your TikTok videos, why would you want to start an OnlyFans? There's no point. You're going you're gonna to show yourself in the way your creator brought you to this life. For what? For money? Don't you already have money? Famous YouTuber. Jack Doherty, 11.2 million subscribers on YouTube. Do you need the views that much that you decided to do this with the Island Boys? Okay, that's right. That's three, two, one. Why are they both shirtless? What were they doing before this? This guy has almost 12 million subscribers on here. What does he need these views for? All right, Island Boys, what's the freakiest thing you guys have ever done? We made out with each other. Did you? Yes. Did you guys like it? Mm -hmm. huh? You did? I mean, there was nothing much. He's my twin. So, like, you do it again? Yeah. And what you do right now? On video. On our own time. Oh, okay, bad, bad. Yeah, yeah. Like, when the like, lights are off and the doors close, you know? Nah, not really. Just a little bit more personal, you know? Hey, stop to the OF to see what happens next, huh? It seems like the more I keep trying to, like, stop this nonsense from happening, the more it happens, you know? And this comes to no surprise from Jack Doherty himself. In his videos, he posted six plus videos with the Island Boys, so he was hanging with them for a while. Who knows if they influenced him to do it or he was just trying to switch the other side and partake in th those weird activities. Let's see what the Island Boys have to say for themselves. Let's see how they defend their actions of them as brothers kissing each other for views. I don't know. I was just seeing you guys making out on Instagram and I just wanted to find out what the hell was going on. Instagram or Twitter? Uh, Why does it matter Instagram or Twitter? That's not the point. Why were you kissing each other? Look, yeah, OnlyFans, man. That's it. You feel me? Okay, so let's start with that though. What, where did the thought process of you guys making out with each other on OnlyFans come from? Because this took me and everybody else in the world kind of by surprise. Keep in mind, people with this many tattoos already, like, like the Island Boys, you know, I'm not trying to sound disrespectful or anything, but they almost got to do a bunch of things on the internet to keep getting their money because um, who's going to hire them? Imagine pulling up to Starbucks, you're like, hey, I want a grande latte mocha. Whatever you guys order at Starbucks, I don't care. And this guy takes your order. Just island boy. I'm a just island boy. Ooh. I'm a get keyword. Tattoos all over his face. Weird hairstyle. And you're, you're with your family, maybe your kids. And you're like, wow. It's just not a professional thing to do. Hey, that, it doesn't mean it, it'll help you with, with your career. It doesn't mean you can't get girls. I'm sure. I'm sure those guys with tattoos get more girls than us. Probably. I'm not trying to say I'm better in any way. I'm just saying. Yeah, so it was kind of unexpected. But um, we started off by just showing us like with our underwear on twitter and they're like people were like it was almost like yeah let's post a picture of us in our underwear us together or me and my brother let's post it on twitter bro these videos just seem to get more extreme every time like i'm over here pushing my message stop the nonsense get it together how old are you guys seriously this is this is ridiculous they're 22 Come on, you're not 10 years old here. I see your house right there in the back. It's a big house. I see you got diamonds. There's something that you know how to do. I don't know how you got that, but you got it. What made you think it's a good idea to post yourself with your brother in your underwear and then kiss each other? People were like, it was almost like they're like, you guys won't kiss. And I thought about it like for a couple of days and I'm like, wait, that'd be a good idea. I did some research on it. Like kissing your brother, is it illegal? Is it a problem? Stuff like that. And it's actually not that big of a deal in some in some religion uh, religions they do it so yeah I don't know about okay here let me help you guys out here okay let me uh, you know I I analyzed it properly so you posted a picture you and your twin brother in underwear I'm sure you have a few hundred thousand or a million followers on Twitter. When you scroll down to the comments, most people, especially with you guys, no offense, you know, this is just, you guys, you guys did this to yourself, right? They are trolls. They're just trolling you. They're not laughing with you here. Let's be honest. They noticed, okay, this guy who's already done a bunch of weird things on the internet is here with this twin brother posting a picture of, of them in their underwear. This guy's already laughing like, what in the world are these guys doing? He busted out laughing while commenting. You guys won't kiss though, but like not laughing with you. I'll be honest, they were just messing with you. And you took it like, wow, that's a dare. That's actually quite a good idea. Let me kiss my brother because some guy on the internet dared me to. He gave me such a good idea for me to promote my only pants. Come on, man. By now you should have learned, like most of the comment section is just messing with you. You actually did a research to see if it was a good idea to kiss your own brother. It's about time for you to realize you're 22. Like, hey, maybe 
Maybe there are, there are things that you shouldn't show on camera. And this guy like Adam's acting as if he was perfect himself. You just shared your chick with a BBC. You can't be talking here, man. It's actually not that big of a deal. In some religions, they do it, so. Yeah, I don't know about making out, but kissing, yeah. Okay, so when I think about making out with my sibling, like in my case, I have a sister, so it's kind of hard to imagine having a twin brother, but I feel, I don't know, like a natural biological sense of revulsion by the idea. And even like, well, I, I you know, I'm heterosexual, so I guess that kind of makes sense. But like, even I'm, I'm looking at one of my friends who's sitting right here and I'm, I'm trying to picture myself making out with them. And it just really sounds unappealing. How did you get over that? Were you, were you disgusted by the idea at first? Or, or, or how, like, I, I don't even know where to go with this. Like, how, how did you feel about it? You know, we're, we're twin brothers. We came out the womb together. We grew up together. It's not really disgusting if, it, if it's twins. Uh, I guess it is. It doesn't matter if you came out the womb together. You can say, oh, wow. Well, actually, why don't you be able to kiss your mops? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you, you came out of her womb. Oh, you also came out of your pops. You know, why can't you just kiss your pops as well in the mouth, you know, with, with, uh, with a little bit of tongue in there too. Bro, stop, please. Someone control the situation here. This is getting out of hand. Look at these three people in this podcast right now. Adam22 shared his chick with a BBC for views and money. Now, Allen boys, brothers, twins, kissed each other for views, money. Overthink it. Yes, please overthink it. It's about time someone, someone notices what's going on. This isn't even about that one community anymore, the plus 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 community. No, this is a, bro, that is your brother. Come on. Um, your friend, you don't really know him like that. We're still heterosexual. Yeah, yeah. So we still see. We your friend, you don't really know him like that. It doesn't matter. So just because you know your brother means you can do whatever you want with each other, dude. Seriously, this is not even funny anymore. Seriously, that's it. You're you're not. You're not eight. Even eight year olds don't do things like these. Not even people from Alabama do this. If you agree with what I'm saying, subscribe. Don't forget to like it because if you don't, this message won't be shared and this stuff will keep happening. So if you care about the message, share it with your friends and hit the like button. Go, I'll wait for you. We kind of just made out or whatever. We kissed and then we just like looked the other way for a, a few minutes and couldn't like, you know, look at each other, but it wasn't that big. You know why you couldn't look at each other? Because it's wrong. And you know that it's wrong. You just force yourself to believe with a little bit of research that it was a good idea. It's far from a good idea. I'm tired of people lying to themselves. The reason you feel like that is because you shouldn't have done that. Do you understand? So it was just for OnlyFans? This isn't something that you guys would have ever thought about doing before? Uh, we never thought about it, no. With off camera, no. So much patheticness being spoken is, is overwhelming. No, we never thought about doing this off camera you know with nobody watching because this is wrong but this is wrong so we decided to just do it on camera instead because if we're going to do something so wrong might as well on camera right so that millions of people and their followers can see it and realize like wow it's not that big of a deal. This is the problem with influencers. All of these guys right here in this podcast are the reason why influencers, why people that want to be YouTubers, why people that want to be on the internet get so much hate because of these guys right here. So if you want to thank somebody, thank them. Okay. And and was this, this was something people were requesting a lot on OnlyFans, I'm guessing? Yeah, yeah see, uh, we we did it with another, another kid, but we realized like they didn't like it that much. So they they was more fond with the idea of two twins doing it so we're like okay and i just went along with it so you kissed another dude and the people didn't really care about that so much no no oh you know so our only fans audience were requesting it so we decided to do it with another guy you know but they didn't like it they prefer twins to do it they're trolling you you thought they were being serious no, they were just trolling you so you can make a fool of yourselves. That's why. And hey, they convinced you. They got what they wanted. <laughs> you you went from your image already like getting trolled on to getting even more trolled on. Your audience is like, wow, these guys are so gullible. We can we can manipulate however we we wish. They need money anyway. They they need views. So just ask them to do some weird junk. This is a conversation that I've had with a few different uh, male stars where they've told me that on their OnlyFans because so many of their subscribers are gay men that there always is going to be this really intense uh pressure on them to take zesty photos 
to you know put their booty on the on the kitchen sink and take a selfie like that and then going even beyond that to put stuff in your butt to maybe take a dildo and jam it down your throat or or even worse stuff you know um but some of these guys have told me that they really like there are so many very lucrative things you can do so many businesses so many opportunities social media has so many opportunities for you to make loads and loads and loads of cash there is no need for you to be showing yourself on only pans and the way your creator brought you to this planet there's no need for you to be fulfilling the fantasies of your audience on only pans by doing things you don't feel comfortable doing even if you did feel comfortable doing that you shouldn't be doing that you guys know it is incorrect I told you guys, think about the future. Think about the, the complications that will arise from you partaking in these activities. It's time for you to stop searching for the easy way out because that easy way out, you will realize in the future that it wasn't so easy because in the future, your mental health will pay for it. For people like this, it's too late. Example, like when you're a girl, you and you've done these videos before, you're f***ing her, you might have an angle where it's showing your butt. Yeah. So it's things like that, but you know, it's up to you if you want to stick it up your butthole and stuff like that. Uh, I have yet to take it that far yet, but I mean. I have yet to take it that far yet. So I still might, you know, just not right now, you know, but possibly in the future, I won't take it that far. This just seems to be getting worse and worse by the minute. It's almost like intolerable for me at this point, you know, but for your guys' entertainment and education, let's proceed for a few more minutes. That's okay. not, when that's, you subscribe to my OnlyFans, it's like me collaborating with a female her. Uh, just like if you showing off our, bo our body part, showing our body part, showing my face, of course, showing, I'll show my ass. I show yeah. uh, uh, shower videos. I show me jerking off and nutting and putting and showing my nut in my head. That's what you said. Yeah, what, but what, you're not gonna see us. What, what people do for views nowadays, this is incredible. Is there like a dollar amount that you're just kind of waiting for in order to, you know, let, let your brother slip his pinky finger up your butt or something? Like, like I, I'm just trying to figure out how you're going to get to the next level with all this. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's going to have to be a million, a million dollars or something like that. Yeah. Or just to exactly. jerk him off. Just grab his dick and just sort of hold it and just wiggle the skin back and forth. What about that? That's it. Yeah, I, I don't know if there's a dollar what, amount. Can I ask so you just said yourself for one million dollars, you would let your twin brother slip his pinky finger up there. You know what? That's way more than enough for you guys to hear. And then and then Adam is like, oh, how about, you know, you let your brother, you know, just grab it, pull the skin back a little bit. And and and, and they still even thought about, like, oh, you know, I don't even know there's a number for that. I don't even know. The answer is no. The answer is there is no number. I would never allow that. Impossible. Should never happen. Don't. It doesn't matter if they offer you a trillion dollars. There is no number for this. This is where people are at in 2023. You went from, hey, you kiss your brother to, oh, a million bucks, and I'll let him slide it up on only pants. Although I am sorry that you guys had to witness that podcast. Thank you for watching. Comment down below your thoughts on this very uncomfortable subject. Hit the like and subscribe. Peace, baby.